Welcome to this video from Learning Electrics. In this video we will look at two-plate lighting circuits. The two-plate method is often called the live feed to the switch method as this is exactly what we do. You may recall that in the three-plate method the live loop went to the ceiling rows but this is not the case in two-plate wiring. We will look at the ceiling rows in a moment and then move on to one-way switching and lastly we will consider two-way switching. Let's compare how the ceiling rose is wired up. On the left is a three-plate ceiling rose and wired as a three-plate system. Notice that the permanent live in the cable marked S is connected to the live loop block marked LL along with neutral and earth wires in the other blocks. The cable marked SW is the switch wire and takes a live phase to the switch and back. The blue wire with brown markings is not a neutral. It is the switched phase cable. Compare this to the two plate ceiling rows on the right. There is only one cable at the ceiling rows. This is the switched phase plus neutral plus earth. And that is it. There are far fewer wires in the ceiling rows. We do not use the central live loop block and in some older ceiling roses there will only be two terminals plus earth anyway. And lastly, in both cases we have shown the pendant wires to the lamp in yellow. For clarity on the following drawings we will just show the ceiling rows terminals as here. The switch block is always the two hole block, always. The outside block of three holes is always the neutral and the centre block is not used in the two plate method. We can take a look now at one way switching for the two plate method and it is very different to the three plate method. At the top left is the incoming cable from the consumer unit. In this case we are showing a twin and earth cable. This supply cable to the lighting circuit must have the correct overcurrent protection and all new and modified domestic circuits must also have 30 milliamp RCD protection as well. The first thing to notice is that the supply cable goes directly to the switch. The phase wire, the brown wire in this case, goes to the top or common terminal of the switch. The neutral is connected into a small terminal strip or a suitable Wago connector. If the switch box has an earth terminal, connect the earth into this or use a small terminal strip again. All bare earths should always be fully sleeved with green and yellow sleeving. From the switch, the twin and earth switch cable goes to the ceiling rows. The switched phase wire is in one of the switch contacts in the switch. It does not matter which way around the two brown wires are in the switch. It's just my personal choice to do it this way. As long as one is in the common and the other is in a switch terminal, all will be okay. So, now let's look at the ceiling rows. The switch phase goes into the two hole switch block. The neutral into the three hole outside neutral block and the earth into the earth terminal. Last but not least, we have the two pendant wires shown in yellow that go to the lamp or bulb. At the moment on this drawing, the lamp is off as the switch contact inside the switch is not connecting the two brown wires together. The circuit is broken and no current can flow to illuminate the lamp. Let's change the switch position and connect the two brown wires together through the switch. Now we can follow the route of the current and voltage through the circuit. When tracing circuits, either practically or on paper as here, always start at where the voltage comes into the circuit. In this case, it is top left. The voltage travels down the permanent live or phase wire in the supply cable to the top or common terminal of the switch. This is sometimes marked COM on the switch. It passes along the internal contact of the switch to the switched contact. Then it leaves the switch on the second brown wire, the switched live. Along the twin and earth to the ceiling rows where the brown enters the switch block. A yellow pendant wire leaves the switch block and goes to the lamp. Through the lamp, 
and back along the second pendant wire to the neutral block in the ceiling rows. From the neutral block, the voltage travels along the neutral wire back to the neutral connections that we made in the switch. Then, back out of the switch, up the twin and earth cable to the neutral of the consumer unit. If all that electrical path is intact and continuous, then the lamp will light up. And that is one-way switching in a two-plate circuit. Now we can delve into two-way switching. This is a little more complex, but still easy to understand if we take our time. Let's build up the two-way switching circuit for a two-plate system. Let's look at it. We've installed our two switches and the ceiling rows, and all that we need to do now is to make the electrical connections. The twin and earth supply cable from the consumer unit goes to the switch as before, but this time the brown wire goes into one of the switched contacts. The neutral and earth are terminated as before inside the switch. Now we need to use three core plus earth cable between the two switches. This is sometimes called a strapper cable and is often coloured brown, black and grey plus a bare earth or CPC. The black and grey wires must be oversleeved with brown sleeving or brown tape at each end to show that they are phase conductors and that at some point they will have 230 volts on them. The earth must also be suitably sleeved in green and yellow. Let's connect the strapper wire now. This is how I do it, starting with the switch on the left. The black wire goes into the common terminal. The brown wire goes into the same terminal as the permanent live or first brown wire. The grey wire is inserted into the empty switch terminal. And that just leaves the earth to connect. At the second switch, the black wire is inserted into the common terminal. The brown into one of the switch terminals and the grey into the other. Now terminate the earth and that part is done. Now for the twin and earth switch wire. The brown from the switch wire goes into the same hole as the grey wire. Earth and neutral are terminated into the appropriate connectors as before and you can see that the ceiling rose remains unchanged. Brown into the switch block, blue into neutral and then terminate the earth accordingly. Insert the two pendant wires for the lamp into the appropriate holes and that is the job done. We have now finished the connections for the two-way lighting. Now that we have connected everything together, let's take something away. For clarity, we will remove the earth wires from this drawing. It will make it much easier to follow on the next few slides. Please remember though that the earth is still there in reality. So let's trace the circuit. Again, we will start from the incoming position at the top left. Voltage comes down the brown phase wire to switch A and then leaves the switch on the second brown wire and goes to switch B. It then travels through switch B to the common terminal and leaves the switch on the black wire. The voltage re-enters switch A and travels through the switch contact to the brown wires. And this is where it started. It cannot make the jump to the opposite side of the switch, to the grey wire, so the voltage path stops at that point. The circuit is broken, or open circuit as we say, and therefore no current flows and the light is not lit. Now operate switch A. The contact is in the opposite position. Follow the route of the electric from the incoming position. So we go down the permanent live brown wire to switch A. Leave switch A on the second brown wire and go to switch B. Through switch B to the black wire and then back to switch A. Through switch A contact to the grey and brown wires. Leave switch A along this brown wire and go to the ceiling rows. Along the pendant wires to the lamp and back to neutral. Down the neutral to switch A and then back to the consumer unit. Again, if the circuit is complete, the lamp will light up. Always trace the circuit from where it comes in to where it goes out, and any break and the light will not work. Operate switch B this time and trace the circuit. The incoming phase wire goes to switch A 
and leaves switch A on the second brown wire. When the voltage gets to switch B, it cannot get any further. The circuit is broken and no current flows, so the lamp goes out. Now operate switch A again. Voltage flows into switch A on the brown phase wire. This time voltage flows through the switch contact to the black wire. Along the black wire to switch B, through switch B to the grey wire and back to switch A. At switch A it leaves the switch on the brown switch wire and travels to the ceiling rows. Then through the pendant wires to the lamp, through the lamp and back on the second pendant wire to the neutral block. Back down the neutral to switch A and then back to the consumer unit. All things being equal, the circuit is complete and the lamp lights up. And there we are, two-way switching for two-plate lighting. In summary then, the permanent live goes to the switch. The neutral and the earth are also taken to the switch. The switch live plus neutral plus earth are then taken to the ceiling rows. The live loop terminals in the ceiling rows are unused. Two-way switching will require a three core plus earth strapper cable and the ends of the black and grey wires must be marked with brown tape or brown sleeving. The bare earths must be sleeved with green and yellow sleeving. Choose an appropriate overcurrent protective device. All new or modified domestic lighting circuits now require 30 milliamp RCD protection. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and perhaps added some more knowledge to your mental toolbox. Lighting is fairly straightforward. Just work methodically and keep your cables well marked so that there is no confusion when connecting the wires into the circuit. Always work safely and always isolate and lock off any circuits that do not need to be live before working on them. And remember, you will find out first if it is still switched on. Thank you for watching this video, it is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. Here are some tips on getting even more information and help out of learnelectrics.com. At your web browser, enter learnelectrics.com into the search bar. Select learnelectrics.com from the choices offered and the website as shown will open up for you. You now have a couple of choices. You can search for a help item or any video by entering a keyword into the search bar on the right. Click on return and all the help files and videos with that word in the title will be listed for you. They will be shown with a short description. Click on continue reading for more information. Each video listed will have a link shown that will take you directly to that exact YouTube video. Or you can browse through a list of all the available items and videos. To do this, click on the LE logo on the top left of the home page and all our items and videos will be shown. There will be 10 items shown on each page and at the bottom of each page is a page selector, page 2, 3, 4, etc. that will bring up the next 10 items or videos in the list. And don't forget that you can always type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.